Hey guys, I'm out here on Strawberry. It's Memorial Day weekend, so uh, hopefully the fishing should be good. I saw a fish just come up. We're gonna try fishing a different area than I normally fish, so uh, just check it out. Hopefully we can get into a few. Should be a good day. All right guys, so I'm kicking out into this shallow bay here. Gonna just start off throwing a balance leech and a couple chronomids under a midge tip. It's pretty cold this morning, but it's gonna be probably sunny and bluebird and calm most of the day. So we'll see how that works out for, you know, still water fishing, but uh, hopefully we can pick some up here in the morning. Again, okay, gotta learn this area a little bit, figure it out. I think I'm gonna kick out to that point. I think the creek up there is dumping a little bit of dirty water in, so. So we're still kicking out here. Let's talk about what happened in day two of the comp. I know a lot of you were probably expecting this video to be the comp video, but you know what? Day two of the comp was rough. I caught, so in the first beat, I caught my only fish of the day in the first three minutes of the first beat and you know something changed about the day uh, the water temps dropped the chronomid activity kind of fell off a cliff for the most part and i thought i could go in and replicate what i had done the day before to uh as i fix my Indicator that's all wrapped up here. I thought I could replicate what I did the day before and have success. And you know what? That just was not happening. I got, I dropped a fish in the morning session, right at, well, not right at the net, but it was close. Should have, should have put that one in, in the net. And then, you know, I had a couple leads spread out in between the first session and the second. But other than that, even if like I had converted on everything that ate, which, you know, isn't that realistic, I still wouldn't have done well. I mean, it was tougher for everyone. The numbers were way down, but uh, to be honest, guys, I didn't have enough content. You know, I caught one fish and still wasn't dead last. So that's how tough it was. But I, I just didn't think I had enough content about uh, that day. So I'm going to just kind of fold in the overall wrap up of the the comp in this video. Let me cover the fish. It's a decent cut too. Or bow. That's a bow. Oh, fly fell out in the net too. Okay, well, some infill.
cover the fish, get him to eat. It's a chunky bow though. There we go. Okay, bait ball rig. Another bow, huh? Another decent one. All right. There we go. Another bow. I'm blowing up the rig. Oh. See if we can save this rig here. Oh my god. Probably not. Dude, he wrapped the whole thing. No way. It's a fat bow. to show the camera but maybe we can save this if we can get this first fly clear nope nope saved Okay, found a little something something going on now. Deeper. Oh. You untangled my rig for me. I think I got him on there. Little guy. Yo. What'd you get that one on? Fab. 
Nice. Was it a cut or a bow? I haven't caught a cut yet. What? All I've caught are bows so far. Huh. There were a bunch earlier. They were chasing the coronamids because they were doing the leap out of the water thing. But I put dry dropper on and indicator. I had one indicator go under through midge tip with double coronamid and leech. Didn't get them to eat any of that stuff, so. Might have the wrong size coronamids. Mine might be too big too big. The, the ones out are like 16s and 18s and I have like 12s and 14s on. Okay, up shallow. a nice cut. That's a lot of good info too. Okay, get in the net. Oh, a little more line in here. Oh yeah, that's a big cut. Get in the net. Okay. Don't blow up my rig, please. Bait ball. Right in shallow. Nothing cast. Okay, that's info. That's a big one. A nice fish. Coming back out, I was just flipping it, my bait ball rig through the reeds and a big cut ate it. That's the only one I've caught. Ooh. Oh, there you go. That was neat. Yeah, I just got neat too, I think. That was a solid cut, but I couldn't replicate ripping it through the weeds. There we go. That's what I was about to say. Take advantage of that 30 seconds of cloud we were going to get. That's a nice one.
They're not eating the point fly for me. It's a solid one. Yo, dude, chill. It's a solid one. Was it a 24 inch No. <laughs> That's a cut. Ooh, that was neat. You got it. <sighs> On the hang. I either have this fin hooked or it might be a good one. I'm gonna bet Finn Hook though. That's what it feels like. I saw him, it didn't look that big. But he's also not fighting like he's Finn Hooked either. Is there two? <laughs> I can't tell if there's another shadow under that. I don't think so. It's a good one. Yeah. It's a big bow. That's why it's fighting hard. Hit the point. I lost a, a fly at some point. I only had two flies on there. It's in the net. It's a solid bow though, guys. I think that's one of the bigger bows I've caught at Strawberry. for re-rigging. Oh! Get it. Got him! <sighs> okay, what's the magic fly there, Bob? Bait fish ball. Pardon? Bait fish. Oh! I'm on an intermediate, but I'm counting it down around 20 seconds. There we go. That little. Yeah, not.
we go. Okay, it's been a while. All the fish here are pretty decent. It's just it's few and far between, huh? Here's the flies. That's top fly again. I guess they're up in the column when they eat. Decent one. There we go, up shallow. There we go. All right, there's a couple of fish back here. Got my chub for the day. Alright guys, well, it's going to do it for today's video. Uh, it's pretty slow. You know, caught some nice fish. You know, like mega giants. There's a nice bow in there. But uh, the, overall the quality was good, the quantity was not. Don't know how I feel about this little area. At least right now. Mm, not sure if I'd come back here, but... Uh, Maybe we'll have to give another go another time. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all.